In addition to being trained in natural medicine, licensed naturopathic doctors are also trained in pharmacology. So if their state license permits, licensed naturopathic doctors can prescribe these agents themselves. Or if not, they can refer to a conventional medical colleague. And I'm the type of provider that would much rather have my patients feel like they have a variety of options to choose from. And that's because I strongly believe that healing is a spectrum from natural to pharmaceutical and everything in between. Now regarding spironolactone, off-label use of oral spironolactone is to address hormones that play a role in breakouts. And there are small scale studies that have looked at topical preparations. And while spironolactone and antibiotics are commonly prescribed for acne, they work in different ways. And antibiotics work by killing microbes that play a role in breakouts. And since spironolactone doesn't kill microbes, it could be suggested that spironolactone wouldn't affect the microbiome. In addition, since topical antibiotics are not taken orally, topical antibiotics have a lower risk of affecting gut health and the gut microbiome compared to oral antibiotics. All in all, the two may be helpful, but they work in different ways. And because of how they're administered, they may not affect the gut microbiome. Now, other than being trained in integrative medicine that combines natural medicine and pharmacology, licensed naturopathic doctors also want to treat the root cause as best as we can. And in regards to acne, there are several root issues that could play a role. While I do only see patients who are in California, there are licensed naturopathic doctors in other states. To find the closest naturopathic doctor to you, check out the Institute for Natural Medicine.